running back to the left of Stavi. Plenty of time, and he flips it short. And Logan Wally makes the catch and has a first down. It and then by the fifth game, he had settled down and was able to get back to playing quarterback. Wait a minute. Heavy traffic. All those big Alabama bodies. You can't find a, a bigger breath. Tied to rush four. Stave gets it away, delivers high. And he's trying to get the ball to Erickson. Have a good game. The Badger coaching staff feels, and he's facing a lot of fresh bodies. Stavi fires short, battling near the marker, and just inside the four like at three. In the flat, catch made. Logan Wale is free and is inside. Outside. Stavi, look left, right, fires middle. Touchdown, late signal. But Alex Erickson, the top guards, that was in the first play of the game. Stave flips it short. That's Derek Watt. His second catch out across the 20. On the stretch. Stutter step. But again, the pursuit's so quick. They get about a yard and a half. It'll be another third. Two up backs into the flat. They got the freshman deal. They hand it to him. Wow, they got Surprise. And the freshman muscles near the marker. I think they got it with the spot. More their power back. Clement, or Stave pressured and slammed down as they didn't pick up Jonathan Allen, who came flying in. Now Walker Williams, the right guard, confused. Right here, he steps inside, and the pressure shoots right through that gap. A little miscommunication. This is what happens when you start three new offensive linemen, and that's why every single down, Volts in the middle trying to make sure all five guys are on the same page. That time, they committed to the lever in the flat, but he got the ball in. Logan Wally, as a flag comes flying out of the defense. Stavi takes a shot. Downfield, leaping catch by Erickson at the 15. El Spence. Stavi in his 29th start has been sharp throwing the ball. They'll give it to Clement, who had some carries early in the game, and most of them resulted in just like that. Not much. There's a second down throw quickly behind Ogunbwale, who couldn't come up with it, and starts the tide to show pressure. Late clock at three. Stavi hurries it. Loops the throw, incomplete, and Stave on second and eight. Feels the pressure again and goes down. The tide converging there. Jaron Reed and Jonathan Allen, two defensive ends. But if you look at this initially, it looks like the pressure is coming from here. But in fact, he drops and the pressure comes from here. And it caught Stave. Also, it catches the offensive line by surprise. So a little bit of a zone pressure there. And when Alabama knows you're going to throw, they are going to change things up and challenge the communication. Third and 16. Screen. Ogunbowale hit for a loss as Ruben Foster. The football back. Low snap. Stave scrambling off the hands of Erickson, but that was messed up from the start. And here comes the Badger Blitz. Look on third and six. Here they come again. Gets it away. One-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside in the NFL. Third and 21. And the tide. Rush four, but still getting Stave's face, and he fires high. They are two. So Stave. With a minute 11 to go, finds Erickson again. That's been a good combination. They used really good defense. Let's, let, instead of just killing the clock, let's, let's work. Let's try to get a little bit better. They fire downfield in heavy traffic. Oh, There's the first turnover of the night, and Eddie Jackson is off and running. Knocked down at the 20, and a flag comes in very late.